Okay, so today we're going to be going over a question that involves complementary goods as well as increases in technological advancements. So, this question says, look at the figure shifts in demand and supply. The figure shows how supply and demand might shift in response to specific events. Suppose the technology for producing snowboards improves. Which panel best describes how this will affect the market for winter parkas, a complement of snowboards? Okay, so the first thing to remember on this question is what a complementary good is and what a substitute good is, how are they different, and what do they do? So, a complementary good is something that goes well with another good. So say anything that would cause an increase in demand for that good would also cause an increase in demand for the other good because they go together. Examples of this would be hot dogs and soda. Um, steak and A1 sauce. And maybe let's say Wings and Franks. Hungry, if you can't tell. So, these things are complementary goods because they go well together. So, say there was a decrease in the price of hot dogs. So, naturally more people were buying hot dogs. That would result in an increase in the demand for soda because more people want a soda to go with their hot dog. Same thing goes for steak, A1 sauce, and wings and franks. If the price of steaks go down, people are going to buy more steak, and then they're going to want to buy more A1 sauce to put on their steak. So basically, a decrease in price or an increase in production possibilities for any of these things will result in an increase in demand for the complementary good. So then we have substitute goods. Substitute goods are anything. Right Substitute goods are anything that can replace each other. So there's something that both fulfill the same niche of demand for a consumer, but aren't the same. So things like that would be Coca-Cola and Pepsi, and other things like maybe jeans and khakis, or maybe hot dogs and hamburgers. So substitute goods are different than complementary goods because substitute goods are something you trade in for each other. So say it costs $5 for a Coca-Cola and $1 for a can of Pepsi, and even if you really like Coca-Cola, you're not going to want to spend that extra $4 for the can to say, I'm just going to go buy some Pepsi because it's so much cheaper. So that's the idea behind substitute goods, is that if the price in one goes up, the demand for the other will also go up because people will stop buying the more expensive good. So, now back to the actual question at hand. This question is asking us, suppose the technology for producing snowboards improves, which panel best describes how this will affect the market for winter parkas, a complement of snowboards? All right, so now we're gonna go back and recall what a technological improvement does when you're talking about producing a good. So basically, what that's gonna do is you go to your production possibility frontier, and that is going to bubble it out. So we have here is an increase in the supply of snowboards. And so what that is going to effectively do is drop the price of snowboards, which is going to cause more people to buy them. So we have an increase in the number of snowboards being purchased. So now we go back and say, how will that affect the market for winter parkas, a complement of this good? So now we know there is an increase in demand for snowboards. So what do we know is going to happen? There's going to be an increase in demand for winter parkas. And we can see that in a graph because here we're going to have our supply and our demand. I'm going to say, now I know the supply has not changed in this case because it does not tell us that there's been any advancement to the production of parkas, only snowboards. So we know the supply hasn't changed, but we know the demand has to increase 
because we now have an increase in snowboards. So the only way to do that without touching the supply is to bubble out the new demand line to represent that it has been increased. So now we look over to the question and say, which panel describes this? Well, that's going to be panel A because here we have our supply line, our original demand curve, and we have an increased demand curve right there. So we're going to go down, we're going to know the answer is going to be C, panel A.